Another condition of the salah is covering the awra, part of the body that must be covered, with a permissible garment that does not describe slash show one skin. Furthermore, awra is of three types. One, awra al mughallada major awra, which is the awra of a free woman who has attained maturity. In salah, her entire body is awra except her face. Two, awra al mukhaffafa minor awra, which is the awra of a boy who is 7 to 10 years old and it is the front and back private parts. Awra al-Mutawasita, the intermediate awra, which is the awra of everyone except the previous two types. And it is from the navel to the knee. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the meaning of which, O children of Adam, take your beautification to every masjid. Another condition of salah is facing the qibla. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the meaning of which says, From wherever you start your prayer, turn your face in the direction of Masjid al-Haram. However, if one is unable to face the Qibla due to sickness or something similar, then the obligation is dropped from him, just as all other obligations are dropped from him if he is unable to carry them out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the meaning of which, So fear Allah as much as you can. Additionally, the Prophet ﷺ used to pray the voluntary salah while riding on his riding beast, facing whatever direction it faced, agreed upon, and in another wording, but he would not offer the prescribed prayer on it. Another condition of salah is a niyyah, the intention. Its place is in the heart. Saying it out loud is a bid'ah, innovation within the religion. Additionally, salah is valid in any place except the following. 1. An impure place. 2. A place that has been taken by force. 3. In the cemeteries. 4. In the bathrooms. 5. In the resting place of camels. A Tirmidhi recorded a marfu'a narration in his sunan, where the Prophet wasallam said in the meaning of which, the entire earth is a masjid except for the cemeteries and the bathrooms.